Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to another tutorial about Git. Welcome again. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look on how to merge our branches, our separated branches, how to push, commit and push the merged code to our remote repository and how to delete a branch on both local and remote repository. Let's access our terminal again and right now we are on an alpha branch. If we list the all the branches that we have, we have an alpha, we have a beta that we never actually use, it's kind of like empty, and then we have a master branch. What I want to do, I want to merge the alpha to the master, and then I want to commit the new code to the remote, and then delete the alpha branch from uh, my remote repository, because if we access repository on GitHub and we open the dropdown of branches, we notice that we're going to have also uh, the new branch that we pushed. So after you merge a branch and you don't need to use it anymore, if you use it for like a quick bug fix or adding a feature that now it works and it's merged properly to the master branch, you should delete the old branch because you don't need to have it anymore. It's just like old legacy code that you don't need to keep it. Of course, if you want to keep it, you can, but let's see how to manage and clean up our GitHub repository. Let's access back our terminal and in order to merge the alpha into the master, we have to switch to the master. So let's say git checkout master. Now we are into the master branch. In order to merge it, we can simply write, and it's really obvious, git merge alpha. If we press enter, we're going to get prompt with the vim or vim code editor as usual. If we don't have any error, any issue, any trigger, we can simply type column and q to specify that we want to quit. And here, of course, because nothing was creating merging issues or merging errors, the only difference between the alpha and the master branch was these new style CSS files with five lines. So we just have these changed apply to our master branch. If we access Sublime Text or the code editor that you're using, now we are on the master branch and you see that also we have the style.css. So now what we can do, we can simply get push and we're pushing to the master branch on our remote repository. That's perfect. If we refresh our master branch, of course, we are going to notice that we have the license index.html and style.css and then we have merge branch alpha. If you notice here, the uh, GitHub recognized that the global commit of the master branch is merge branch alpha, but the unique specific commit of the style.css is the same that we wrote in the previous lesson about committing this file inside the alpha branch. So if we access the alpha branch, the commit is exactly the same, but it's not identical to the global commit of this branch. And that's perfect. Let's go back in our master branch. So right now we have master and alpha that are at the same situation. And GitHub offers are also a pretty cool graphic visualization of our branches. So if we access the graphs area and we click the network, we're gonna see what we did here if we are of course the only user. If we have multiple users are gonna be listed here. But here what we did in this day, we created the initial commit and then we added to the master of the GitHub. This black line is the origin, our GitHub repository. Then we branched out the alpha and we pushed to alpha. So we had this separated branch. Here in the previous lesson, we added a paragraph to the index.html in the master branch. So we remain here and the alpha was behind the master branch, but then we merged everything together and we pushed again to the master branch. So we have these basically three branches before the initial one, master branch and alpha, then now are all merged 
and part of the same master branch. This is a pretty cool visualization that will give you a good hint of where your branches are and what situation, what point, and if you have some commits that you didn't merge with a specific branch or you have a branch that you left behind a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. But anyway, if we go back in our code, now alpha and master branch are identical, the code is identical, so we don't really need the alpha branch, we can totally delete it from our remote repository. First, let's access back our terminal, let's clean up a bit, and in order to delete a branch that we don't use, as I showed you before, we can just simply write branch git branch dash d and then alpha. And now we won't have any more the alpha branch in our local, so if we write git branch, we're gonna have just the beta and the master and currently on the master. But of course, if we do git status, nothing is nothing can be committed. We cannot commit this delete of the alpha branch to the origin master. So we still have our alpha branch here, even if we refresh, still there. In order to delete a branch on a remote repository, GitHub gives us the ability to delete it through code or with a graphic interface. Of course, on GitHub is pretty straightforward. Inside our code tab, we can click on branches, select the branch that we wanna delete and just click on this bucket here to delete the branch. But if we don't wanna use the um, user interface or the graphic interface of the GitHub website, we can do it through code by pushing the origin of the branch that we just deleted with a column before the name of the branch. So if we access back our terminal, we can just simply write git push origin column and then the name of the branch that we wanna delete, alpha, and let's hit enter. And here we're gonna have an answer response from GitHub that we just deleted the alpha branch. So if we refresh and we try to open branches, we don't have any alpha branch in the dropdown. If we click on branch, of course we just have the master branch, we don't have the alpha branch anymore. And that's perfect, that's pretty easy and straightforward and will help us to maintain our GitHub account and our GitHub repository clean and easy to maintain. So it's pretty much it for today's lesson. This was a really quick one just to show you how to merge a couple of different branches, commit to the master branch and delete a branch both on your local environment and on your GitHub repository or your remote repository if you're not on GitHub. Thank you so much guys for checking this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And as usual, until the next lesson, happy coding.